We're about to meet some Western musicians who are in a class by themselves. They are rock musicians, real rock musicians. First time I ever went to the top of Sugarloaf Mountain um, outside of Boulder here, I had heard rumors that there were uh, resonant stones up there. Certain kinds of stone have very specific resonances. They almost, many of the most resonant stones ring for much the same reason a wine glass rings because they have a very high silica content. I'm very intrigued by the sounds of rocks, by the sounds of nature. Tom suggested a collaboration and we decided to, to work on this together. We weren't finding anything very inspiring and we were about to give up and we had a few small stones in our hands we were using for mallets and we just tossed one and it went bounding across and went ding, 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 ding and we went. This is Wednesday evening, our performance is tomorrow night, Thursday night. And at one point, we were very excited about an idea, and I went, great, dong. One of the most critical pieces of stone in the ensemble actually develop a crack. And so we were faced with uh, having to come up with another stone that was the same pitch. No musical animation on this one. <gasps> wow. Great and then use a diamond saw to remove material from either the ends or the middle of it, depending on which direction you want to go up or down. There's one, it's a full step now. Now we're a half step away. Well, sir. Well, this is great. Woo! I'm excited. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Now we know where to come to get rocks. Got a great show for you this evening. And uh, here's Mark McQueen and Tom Wassinger. When I tell my, my old friends that I've played in rock and roll bands what I'm doing, they definitely look at me sideways. The more I deal with technology in music, I still crave going back and hearing the sound of a rock making these beautiful overtone sounds that resonate in my body. The thing that fascinated me the most when I first encountered stones that resonated was to think that one of the slowest forms of matter could be that musically alive. Tom and Mark don't have a name for their duo because the best one, the Rolling Stones, was taken a long time ago. Until next week. Thanks for inviting us into your home. We'll see you next time. <laughs>